Gather a variety of primary sources to create your objects of desire visual mind map. By using a combination of magazines, flyers, newspapers and other printed material, your mind map will have different surface textures. Avoid cutting out images that have text on them. Always rip out the pages that you have found the images you want to cut out straight away. For some simple shaped images, using a pair of scissors is fine. For small areas such as here, use a scalpel. Cutting out shapes is easy when you rotate the image instead of twisting your wrist to get to difficult areas. When you are choosing your images, try to think about any artist who may work about the images you are cutting out. Joy Campier learned to crochet in the 10th grade from a teacher at school. Her artistic focus is crocheting fibre art sculptures. Place all of your loose cutouts in a plastic poly pocket to keep them safe. Wayne Tebow is well known for his painting of production line objects found in diners and cafeterias, such as pies and pastries. Klaus Oldenburg was a Swedish-born American sculptor best known for his public art installations, typically featuring large replicas of everyday objects. The American photographer William Eggleston emerged in the early 1960s as a pioneer of modern colour photography. Fortunato's De Piero's amazing 1914 painting, Futurist Motorcycle, which bears a stunning resemblance to the Bat Cycle of the Batman TV franchise of the mid 1960s. Florian Gadsby is a complex ceramicist. His ceramics are largely shaped by his time as an apprentice in Japan. Kim Kibi works exclusively in oils, painting natural, still life, and figurative subjects.
Van Gogh's paintings of sunflowers are among his most famous works. Vincent painted a total of five large canvases with sunflowers in a vase, with three shapes of yellow and nothing else. Shoes played a prominent role in Andy Warhol's early career as a commercial artist. Spend some time thinking about your composition before you stick your pictures down. Think about which images should overlap which images. Leave no empty spaces on your visual mind map. 